This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com and GatheringMagic.com, your place to explore the game. Hi, my name's Sean, and this is my Rafik of the Many Deck. All right, so this is my Rafik of the Mini deck. I I came back into Magic um, during Shards of Alara. I, I played during uh, Revised and and uh, all the way through uh, Alliances, and then I got out for a long time. Came back in, so um, I really loved the Exalted um, uh, ability. So basically, I built this deck around Exalted, but it's also a bottom of the deck uh, deck tech. So here we go. So here's Rafik, and Rafik basically says, uh, "Exalted. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, this, uh, that creature gets one one until the end of the turn. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gains double strike until the end of the turn." And he's a three three. All right. So we have two forests. One, two, three, three plains. Two, two islands. Uh, into our dual lands, tropical island. Here's a proxy, uh, tundra. Another proxy, savannah. I have the real cards. I just don't have them in this deck. Uh, temple garden, breeding pool, hollow fountain, hinterland harbor, glacial fortress. Sun Petal Grove, Temple of Enlightenment, a little scry here, uh, Temple of Mystery, and then our fetch lands, Arid Mesa, get, get a plains, Pluto Delta, get an island, and Vernon Catacombs, get a forest. With Swept Heath, uh, get a Plains or a forest. Geomorphic Expanse, more search. Evolving Wilds, and more search. Exotic Order, uh, sorry, Exotic Orchard. Uh, add to your mana pool one mana of any color that, that a land an opponent controls can, could produce. Usually, multiplayer games, you're going to be able to produce whatever mana. Uh, Seaside Citadel. Command Tower, Reflecting Pool, Wooded Bastion, Ghost Quarter, well land destruction is never a bad thing to have. Strip Mine, same idea. Blighted Woodland, um, nice uh, sacrifice Blighted Woodland, search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them under the battlefield tapped. So, we'll land ramp. Cathedral War fits in with Rafik. Rogue's Passage makes Rafik unblockable. Arcane Light uh, Lighthouse just take hexproof away from something. All right, uh, artifacts: Soul Ring, typical ramp. Lightning Greaves uh, protection for Rafik. Missouri Signet more ramp. Celestia Signet, more ramp. Whisper Silk Cloak, uh, more protection for Rafik. Pretty typical Rafik build right so far. Uh, Loxodon Warhammer, uh, 3 0 and uh, Trample and Lifelink. Proteus Staff, this is uh, uh, my bottom of the deck deck tech. Uh, so put target creature on the bottom of its owner's library. That creature's controller reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a creature card. So um, that player puts that card into play and, and the rest on the bottom of his or her library in any order. Play this ability only any time you could play a, a sorcery. So I can use this for myself or, or against my opponent to make them uh, kind of get rid of cards. <clears throat> Noble Hierarch um, fits in with the Exalted on Rafik. Mana Ramp, Birds of Paradise, 
Uh, not Vine Paladin. Uh, whenever Not Vine Paladin attacks, it gets 1-1 one, one until the end of the turn for each untapped creature you control, so I can use it with Rafik and not attack with Rafik. Aven Square, Exalted. Grand Abolisher. Uh, during your turn, your opponents can't cast spells or activate abilities of artifacts, creatures, or enchantments, so it just slows down my opponents. Invisible Stalker. Uh, it's got hexproof and it's unblockable, so I can use this uh, with the Exalted ability. Um, more Exalted here with. The Knight of Glory. How do you say this? Kasali Pride Mage. <laughs> Exalted. And I can sacrifice him to destroy an artifact or enchantment, you know, when it's a commander, so you might have to do that. Daxos of Miletus. So Daxos of Miletus can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. When Daxos and Miletus deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of that player's library. You gain life equal to that card's converted mana cost. So it just kind of gets, uh, gives you a little bit of tempo and gets rid of stuff off of somebody's deck. Guildspire Avenger, more exalted, and destroy card uh, target creature that dealt damage to you this turn. Eternal Witness, uh, commander card. Thassa is basically in here for the scry and uh, and for the uh, unblockable. Vendillion Click uh, is a bottom of the library card. Dauntless Escort. Uh, sacrifice Dauntless Escort. Creatures you control are indestructible this turn. It's just per it's it's there for protection. Card draw. Um, so Cold Eye Selkie, Island Walk, whenever Cold Eye Selkie deals combat damage to a player, you may draw that many cards. So uh, with Exalted, that's pretty good. And Unblockable. Uh, Court Archers, Reach, Exalted. And more Exalted, Trample, 3-3. Three, three. Venser. Uh, so when Venser comes into play, return target spell or permanent to its owner's hand. So, just a little board control there. More Exalted, um, Flying and Sublime Archangel is uh, Flying Exalted, and other creatures you control have Exalted. So, just keeps adding adding to that. Stoic, Stoic Angel, um, players can't untap more than one creature during their untap steps. Obviously, we're in Exalted, so we don't really care about that. We're usually only tapping one anyway. Silent Arbiter, um, no more than one creature can attack each combat, no more than one creature can block each combat, so just more board control. Uh, Battle Grace Angel, more exalted, and whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gains lifelink into the end of the turn, so it just gives you some more tempo. Dragon Lord Ojatai. Dragon Lord Ojatai has hexproof as long as it is untapped, and whenever he deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library. So you just kind of it's it's more tempo. Just keeping tempo. Um, Sigarda, um, she's just a badass, and and uh, this is the best Sigarda, whatever. <laughs> Dragon Lord uh, Jamoka, so it can't be countered. It has flying and lifelink, and your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. So it just it, it's more it's more board control, and then you also gain a little bit of life as you're going along. Metamai, uh, whenever Metamai the Ageless deals combat damage to a player, takes an, take an extra turn after this one. Metamai the Ageless can attack during extra turns. So. Possibly get an extra turn. I think there's a combo in the deck for that, but I'm not sure. Um, I built this deck like months ago. Anyway, uh, Sovereigns of Lost Lara, uh, more exalted, and whenever a creature you control attacks alone, you may search your library for an aura card that could enchant that creature, put it into play attached to that creature, then shuffle your library. So there's a few auras in here that we can go grab, but mainly the exalted. 
Brutalize or Exarch enters the battlefield. Uh, search your library for a creature card, reveal it, shuffle your shuffle your library and put that card on top of it, or put target non-creature permanent on the bottom of Silver's library so as that uh, bottom of the library tech. And uh, Sun Titan, so it's just some recursion. Brainstorm, more more tempo. Mystical tutor, mystical mystical tutor, uh, is just gonna allow me to go get an instant or a uh, or a sorcery card. Hinder uh, allows me to put a card on the bottom of the library. Ban charm, uh, destroy a target artifact. Put target creature on the bottom of its owner's library. So again, so this whole this whole idea with going to the bottom of the library is I, I was starting to see a lot more graveyard strategies when I was playing Commander a few months ago, and so instead of having all this stuff sitting in the graveyard, I was just like, well, let's just get it all on the bottom of the library. Uh, Oblation: the owner of target non-land permanent shuffles it into his or library, then draws two cards, so it, it gets it out of play. Spell crumple, um, counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, put it in the bottom of its owner's library. So we're continuing with the bottom of the library stuff. Uh, either spells for each attacking creature its owner puts it on the top or bottom of his, his or her library. So I, I'll choose bottom. Um, mystical speculation. This is kind of my my janky uh my my janky scry card here so i can keep scrying through my deck and get the cards that i need to go ahead and win <coughs> wargate uh search your library for a permanent card with converted man, uh converted mana cost x or less put it into play then shuffle your library so if i if i'm looking for something specific to protect rafiq i can go and grab it wrath of god destroy all creatures that can be regenerated Almost as good as Damnation, only not in black. Uh, Supreme Verdict, uh, Supreme Verdict can't be countered, destroy all creatures. Almost as good as Damnation. <laughs> Tragic Arrogance, um, so uh, for each player you choose from among the permits that player controls an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker, each, then each player sacrifices all other non-land permanents. Here she controls, so it's just more board control. Tunnel Vision works with all the bottom of the library stuff. You can basically tuck something and then go ahead and top their whole deck if you know the card on the bottom. So there's Tunnel Vision. Or if you're looking for something specific, you can use it for yourself. Uh, Austere Command, uh, just more board control. Get rid of artifacts and enchantments or creatures, whatever you're trying to get rid of. Aqueous Form, um, enchant creature can't be blocked. And... Uh, when enchant creature attacks, subscribe one. So, so a little bit of tempo and uh, and, and uh, allows Rafik to get through. Raincore, um, just an awesome uh, aura that can be used over and over again. Dueling grounds, uh, no more than one creature can may attack each turn. So it's on the silent arbiter uh, bus. Armadillo cloak. So just. Pumps up uh, Rafik, Aura Shards. Whenever a creature comes into play under your control, I have a lot of creatures in this deck, so I can destroy artifacts and enchantments, and those are usually running rampant in Commander. Steal the Godhead, um, just more power up for Rafik, or whoever I decide to put it on. Rich Stick Study, um, sure, draw cards, wait, right? Yeah, draw cards. <laughs> And uh, here's Arden Plea, so a little more exalted, and it has Cascade in it, so I might Cascade into a, like a Noble Hierarch or something like that. Uh, Spectre Ward, um, just more protection and more power up for Rafik with the double strike. Uh, Mishra's Wake, um, nice little uh, mana ramp. Find a Sour, exalted. And whenever a creature control attacks alone, if it's the first combat phase of the turn, untap that creature. So it's like an extra turn, basically. 
True Conviction, uh, Creatures in Control have Double Strike and Lifelink. So if, if uh, Rafik isn't in play, I can still I can still do the things that would Rafik would normally do uh, with my creatures. And my Planeswalkers, Jace the Mind Sculptor, sure why not. Um, I'll, I'll take that uh, Brainstorm all day long if I can get it. And then Venser. Uh, so Exile Target, Permanent You Own, return it to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next set if I have some enter the battlefield stuff or creatures are unblockable this turn which seems to be a theme in here or whenever you cast a spell exile target permanent so if I can get up to that 8 that would be pretty great and that's it thanks for watching CMDR decks please subscribe and favorite